year, 15,000 bartenders from 35 countries around the world come to New Orleans for Tales of the Cocktail, only to visit the usual haunts. This is an opportunity to explore the hidden side of New Orleans through the eyes of a local. Isn't this beautiful? Little, it's magical. It's like going to France without your passport. It's magical. I think so. I mean, we're kind of out. We're in the bywater now, right. which is as the city starts to taper off and quiet down, yeah. you'll find a lot of really fun, intimate spots out here, places that are a little more pastoral, a little bit more farther removed from city life. There's more yards. There's yeah. certainly more fa families in this area. And um, it's just a space where artists and people who kind of want to wow. have a little bit more space to do bohemian things, have some space to do that. Right. So El Dorado, is your name L and then you added Dorado? Um, well, it's L, like she in mm -hmm. French, and then Dorado. Mm -hmm. And because I, I'm the lost cities of gold, when, uh, some MCs have said the lost city of gold. <laughs> <laughs> So um, I really want to know, it's been a burning question, how did you get into uh, burlesque? Well, I've always been a fan of it, and actually, okay. um, the very first time I performed, it was so much fear and trepidation, like, oh my god, I'm about to shed all of my clothes in front of all of these people, this is crazy. Yeah. But then once you get out there, there's kind of a moment where, um, you know, I just kind of blanked and, you know, running on autopilot. Mm -hmm. but. Um, you know, it's, it's a really liberating thing to kind of take off all of your clothes and then feel just as comfortable in your skin. And it happens almost immediately. Yeah. And you're just like, wow, this is fantastic. And um, I think everybody should do it once. Uh, well, I'll do it every day, but <laughs> not in front of everyone else. Well, that's the point. You gotta, it's, it's got to be in front of a crowd. Yep. I'm sure your friends are all very diverse. They sure are. <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, just on one hand, I... Yeah. Some of my friends are snake charmers, sword swallowers. Wow. It kind of runs the gamut. <laughs> you said some of them are going to meet us later. Are these, have we got any snake charmers coming today? We don't have a snake charmer, but we do have a sword swallower. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys for joining me. This is all so civilized. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it just?